An object zooming through our solar system is challenging notions of scientists and sparking heated debate. Science has rules. The sun pushes things away. It doesn't pull them in. But recent NASA images show an object from another star system, 3i Atlas, doing the impossible. It's shooting a massive jet of material directly at the sun. This defies everything we know about comets. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb says this is just one clue in a trail of anomalies that mainstream science is ignoring. The thing nobody tells you is that this object's bizarre behavior might not just rewrite our textbooks, it could change our place in the universe forever. A Cosmic Contradiction The story of this mind-bending discovery began on July 21, 2025. On that day, the legendary Hubble Space Telescope pointed its powerful lens toward 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object ever detected visiting our cosmic neighborhood. What it saw was, to put it mildly, stunning. The image revealed an extended glowing feature stretching out from the object. But here's the kicker. This feature was pointed directly towards the sun. To any astronomer, this is like seeing a flag blow directly into the wind. It simply shouldn't happen. You see, the basic physics of our solar system is pretty straightforward on this point. Comets, which are essentially giant icy dirt balls, warm up as they get closer to the sun. This causes ice to turn directly into gas, a process called sublimation, which kicks up dust and gas from the comet's surface. This cloud of material forms a tail, but the crucial part is that the sun is constantly bombarding everything with radiation and a stream of charged particles called the solar wind. This pressure acts like a cosmic leaf blower, always pushing the dust and gas away from the sun. That's why a comet's tail always points away from our star, regardless of which way the comet itself is traveling. What Hubble saw was the exact opposite, an anti-tail aimed like an arrow at the sun. At first, some tried to explain it away as a trick of perspective. The viewing angle from Hubble was only 10 degrees away from the object's direction relative to the sun. But even with that, famed Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb and his colleague Eric Keto calculated that for the jet to appear as it did, it must have an axis ratio of about 10 to 1. In simple terms, it was long and skinny, the exact geometry of a jet. Just as the debate was heating up, a new set of eyes confirmed the impossible. On August 2nd, 2025, the two-meter twin telescope at the T-Day Observatory in the Canary Islands took a long, hard look. By combining 159 exposures, each 50 seconds long, they produced an image that left no room for doubt. There it was again, a faint but clear jet, pointing defiantly sunward. This new data showed the jet extended a projected distance of about 3,700 miles from the object's core. That's like a jet stretching from Los Angeles to New York City, all aimed the wrong way. The thing nobody tells you is that getting two separate powerful telescopes to confirm something this bizarre is exceptionally rare. It moves the observation from possible error to undeniable fact. Many comet experts immediately celebrated, claiming this proved 3i Atlas was just a regular comet. But what many overlooked was the glaring contradiction. As Loeb pointed out, it's like your family identifying an animal in your backyard as a cat while the photo clearly shows its tail growing from its forehead. The so-called experts were so focused on the fact that it had a tail that they ignored the impossible direction it was pointing. This sunward jet is a profound anomaly, a genuine WTF moment in astronomy that demands an explanation. But here's the thing, an explanation that fits within our current understanding of comets is nowhere to be found. If the jet was made of normal dust particles, the sun's light would push them away, creating a normal tail. Even larger, heavier particles, which are less affected by sunlight, don't scatter enough light to create the glow seen in the images. The entire phenomenon is a paradox. This single impossible feature was enough to make 3i Atlas the most mysterious object ever to enter our solar system. But the jet was only the beginning of a much deeper mystery. One anomaly after another. The sunward jet might be the most visually shocking thing about 3i Atlas, but what many people don't realize is that it's just the tip of the iceberg. Avi Loeb compiled a list of head-scratching anomalies, each one adding another layer to the mystery. It's a cascade of curiosities that makes calling this object a simple comet seem almost ridiculous. First, let's talk about its sheer size and speed. This interstellar visitor is a monster. 
Estimates suggest it could be a million times more massive than the first interstellar object, Oumuamua, and a thousand times more massive than the second, 2i slash Borisov. At the same time, it's moving much faster than both of them. It's not just passing through, it's blazing a trail. The combination of immense size and high velocity is, in itself, a statistical improbability. Then there's its path through our solar system. You see, our solar system is mostly flat. The planets orbit the sun in a relatively thin disk called the ecliptic plane. Objects coming from interstellar space can arrive from any direction, above, below, or from the side. The odds of one arriving perfectly aligned with our planetary plane are incredibly small. Yet 3i Atlas's trajectory is aligned within 5 degrees of the ecliptic. To put it mildly, this is like throwing a dart from across a football field and having it land perfectly flat on the 50-yard line. It's a little too perfect. What's more, its arrival time seems fine-tuned. Its path is bringing it for remarkably close flybys of multiple planets. We're talking about passing within tens of millions of miles of Mars, Venus, and even the gas giant Jupiter. It's threading a cosmic needle, getting a grand tour of our solar system. The timing required for such a trajectory is mind-bogglingly precise, but the physical evidence gets even stranger. When astronomers analyzed the gas coming off 3i Atlas, they found something that baffled them. The plume contained nickel, but no iron. This is a massive red flag. In nature, nickel and iron are almost always found together, especially in asteroids and comets. The thing nobody tells you is that one of the few places you find nickel alloys without significant iron is in industrially produced materials on Earth. Furthermore, the ratio of nickel to cyanide was orders of magnitude larger than in any known comet. It's a chemical signature unlike anything we've ever seen from a natural object. Speaking of its composition, comet experts had predicted that because it was so active, 3i Atlas must be incredibly rich in water ice. The reality? The gas plume was found to contain only 4% water by mass. This directly contradicts the standard model of comets and leaves scientists scrambling for an explanation of what is causing its bright, gassy display. As if that weren't enough, the object also shows extreme negative polarization. Polarization is a property of light that tells scientists about the surface it reflected off of. All known comets in our solar system fall within a certain range of polarization. 3i Atlas doesn't. Its light is polarized in a way that is unprecedented for any comet ever studied, including the other interstellar visitor, 2i slash Borisov. Its surface is fundamentally different from anything we thought we knew. In a twist that feels almost scripted by the universe itself, 3i Atlas entered our solar system from a direction in the sky astonishingly close to the source of the famous WOW signal. For those unfamiliar, the WOW signal was a brief, powerful burst of narrowband radio energy detected in 1977 by the Big Ear Radio Telescope in Ohio. A signal so distinct from natural cosmic noise that astronomers at the time considered it one of the strongest candidates for alien communication ever recorded. It lasted just 72 seconds, then vanished without a trace, never to be heard again. For decades, scientists have debated its origin. Some blamed satellites or comets, others quietly admitted it might have been something far stranger. Now to have 3i Atlas, an interstellar visitor with bizarre composition, inexplicable behavior, and a trajectory that defies conventional celestial mechanics. Approach from nearly the same patch of sky within just nine degrees of that legendary signal feels almost too much to write off as random chance. Statistically, the odds are staggering. It's as if something or someone left breadcrumbs across the stars, daring us to notice. Some researchers whisper that perhaps both phenomena are connected signatures of the same civilization, or traces of the same event echoing across time and space. Others dismiss it as cosmic coincidence. Yet even the skeptics admit the alignment is eerie. The WOW signal and 3i Atlas. One a whisper from the void, the other a visitor that defies explanation. Both point to the same celestial coordinates, and so the question lingers, heavy and haunting, what if the message was never just a sound but something coming closer, waiting for us to finally look up and recognize it? Each one of these points would be enough to make 3i Atlas a subject of intense study. But taken together, they paint a picture of an object that is truly, fundamentally alien to our understanding of the cosmos. So with all this evidence, why is there such a push to label it a normal comet?
challenging the consensus. With a mountain of evidence suggesting 3i Atlas is anything but ordinary, a major debate has erupted in the scientific community. On one side, you have figures like Avi Loeb, the head of Harvard's Galileo Project, who argue that we must follow the evidence, no matter how uncomfortable the conclusion. On the other side, many mainstream comet experts are clinging to the idea that it must be a natural object, even if it means ignoring or downplaying the long list of anomalies. This is a classic battle for the scientific narrative. Many scientists are conservative by nature. Their careers are built on established models, and anything that drastically challenges those models is often met with fierce resistance. The idea of a simple comet, even a weird one, is comfortable. It doesn't require rewriting textbooks. But Loeb argues that this comfort leads to unimaginative science. He questions why experts are so quick to cheer for the comet explanation while conveniently ignoring the fact that its most prominent feature, the sunward jet, violates the very definition of a comet. The resistance to new ideas has become so entrenched that it's affecting how we even plan to study the object further. For instance, a new proposal suggested trying to detect the object's gaseous plume using two spacecraft, the Europa Clipper and Hera, which 3i Atlas will pass within about 8 million miles of. It sounds like a great idea on the surface, but as Loeb quickly calculated, it's a plan doomed to fail. The solar wind is so powerful that it would sweep away and dissipate the gas plume long before it could ever reach those spacecraft. The density of the gas would be far too low to be detected. It's a proposal based on the faulty assumption that the object is behaving like a normal comet, once again ignoring the real-world physics at play. This highlights a deeper problem, a bias towards familiar explanations that can blind scientists to groundbreaking discoveries. Loeb draws a parallel to history, noting that it is often written by the victors. He speculates that the history of the 21st century will likely be written by advanced AI systems. His hope is that these future AI historians will be logical and fact-based, not indoctrinated by the myths and dogmas of unimaginative scientists. If they, too, learn to prioritize comfortable myths over hard anomalous facts, Loeb jokes, we would be justified in unplugging them. The core of the issue is a philosophical one. Should science be about confirming what we already believe, or should it be about bravely exploring what we don't understand? The story of 3i Atlas is not just about a weird rock in space. It's about our willingness to confront the unknown. The object is screaming that it is different, that it holds new secrets about the universe. But a significant portion of the scientific world seems to be covering its ears, content to hum the familiar tune of It's Just a Comet. What is being overlooked is the possibility that this object represents a true paradigm shift in how we understand the universe. Its strange alignment, unusual composition, and impossible jet are not random details. They could be fragments of a single revolutionary truth waiting to be uncovered. Every anomaly might be a breadcrumb leading toward a new branch of physics, a previously unknown type of cosmic body, or perhaps even evidence of something that challenges the very foundation of astrophysics. Yet if we cling to old assumptions and dismiss what does not fit, we risk turning away from one of the most important discoveries of our time. The mystery of 3i Atlas is not just about a curious object streaking through space. It's about whether modern science still has the courage to confront the unknown. Will we continue to protect comfortable theories or dare to accept data that might rewrite everything we think we know about the cosmos? In the end, this object may not just test our instruments or our math, it may test our imagination. Is the scientific community deliberately ignoring a monumental discovery right in our cosmic backyard? Let us know your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mysteries.